So this is going to be an iPhone video. Um, in the back part of the shop here, finally found all my stuff that I need to repair this uh, linear actuator. Uh, you can see where the ice caught on it and uh, ripped all these wires out. So what I've got is you, I've got to use my uh, weather pack uh, here in that box right there. Uh, use that, get this, re get this uh, end repaired right there. And uh, I need to find some way to strengthen it up a little bit. Uh, I don't exactly know how to do that. Um, I may actually uh, just zip tie it to here or I'm not really sure what I'll do. But I need to, I need to get all of this, this whole area right here uh, protected a little bit. Uh, I'm going to work on this. This will probably be a short video. Uh, I actually brought the camera out here with me. Um, I even set it up right there. Unfortunately, I forgot the SD card. And uh, seeing how I don't think the SD card is empty uh, that I've been using, I've opted just to take it on my phone and you just get to see the repairs this way. So uh, this will be a piece together iPhone video. Okay, I have to talk pretty fast because I don't have much memory on my phone and my battery on my phone is about to die. So, uh, here's a repair. I didn't end up cutting off too much of this uh, line right here. Uh, I think the hardest part is the fact it's about 10 degrees back here. And uh, that means everything's super uh, uh, tight and everything. So I kept having to get out uh, the heat gun and, and heat everything up. Uh, but what I did to add a little bit of extra reinforcement is I, I put some, some heat shrink on there. You can kind of see the heat shrink right here. And then I also wrapped everything in electrical tape. Um, this summer, I actually may come back and work on this connection some more, uh, get a little bit more out of the way, a little bit more protected. Uh, but uh, I did test it out and uh, everything works again. So we are good to go. Um, we're actually supposed to get about three inches of snow overnight. And then after that, uh, we're supposed to get 30 mile an hour winds, so I'll have more drifts to push around, um, all at about negative 20 degrees. So uh, we'll give the, the 4066 another good test in the cold weather, and uh, we'll also test out the 1445. And so all these machines are getting to work out this, uh, this one. <laughs>